What is up guys, this is Carbrows here and welcome back to more Let's Play Swim Soul Conviction. Uh, going on part 14 here, very cool mission this one, uh, checking out 3rd Echelon Headquarters. And um, we're just going to open up the weapon stash. Again, they they don't give us any weapon, um, any secondary weapon at the start of a lot of these missions, so you're just going to grab one. Uh, the MP5 is best for now until the SC3000 is unlocked, and even then the MP5 is still probably better. I'm just uh, a big fan of the SC3000 because I played the old games. And By the way, leave a comment. Has anyone... Uh, has anyone else checked out the uh, the the older Splinter Cells? Because I I know I basically pl I played all of them um, from way back. What was it like nine years ago? The original came out, and I played that. And since then, I've just been hooked on them. Um, I mean, my own opinion, this uh, this is probably the worst of all of them, to be honest. For me, the change in the series. On, my contact on the inside just sent me a text. Security's looking for him. He's a techie named Charlie Fryman, and before you ask, yes, I trust him. Well, that's good enough for me. Where is he? Near the server room. Get to him before security does, or he won't be able to help you. Okay, well, I was about to say before I uh, carried on, is, is some of the big changes they've made for me aren't, you know, they're not wonderful, but... Anyway, uh, basically, if you get spotted at all here, you're done. <laughs> so... Um, and also you can't really kill anyone in the light or shoot them because if the cameras pick them up then you're done as well so I'm gonna try and sneak past this guy and you've got these pillars here which are honestly your best route because it's sort of the only way to guarantee you won't be caught um, we're heading basically this direction there's a vent and um, in that vent is the way into the into the uh, into something that we have to plant C4 on. I, I cannot recall what exactly it is, but either way. Uh, by the way, there's a PEC challenge for knocking a guy out who's investigating a car alarm, um, and you can get that here. Uh, I'm not going to be doing that though right now because, to be honest, I just want to get over and get the server room. Um, is this server room? No, it's not a server room. I can't remember what it is that I'm actually going for here, but it's something that I have to plant C4 on. Uh, there's a guy behind us, by the way, that I walked past. Um, so, <laughs> you'll probably want to take it a bit slower when you're playing yourself. This I have played this mission quite a few times. So. Um, and this is a secret way. And the first time I played this game, I didn't even see this. But yeah, in here, you go through here and down here. And you can plant C4 here. Um, okay, we're sliding all over the place. Okay, we're going to plant some C4 here. And we're going to move back up here. Alright, there's going to be one guy. They do actually spot you sometimes, so just keep an eye out for that. Alright, we're moving on. Uh, oop, dropped down a little bit. And uh, moving over here. And there's a second location where we have to plant C4. There is a back way into it, but to be honest, it's just easier walk in the front door. Uh, so, there's one guy here that I just want to... Actually, yeah, I'm going to throw him off. Oop. I hope the guy downstairs doesn't freak out over that. Next. And we grab the key card there, obviously. I'm gonna execute this guy now because I don't want him seeing the body. Um, and executing is just the easiest and quickest way because, like I say, if you get caught at all here by anything, even detected, you're just done. So, um, yeah. By the way, does anyone uh, want to see me do like? Um oh, I'm in the camera. I'm in the camera. That's not good. Ah, gotta concentrate. Uh, does anyone want to see me do like um, the hunter missions in this? There's lots of achievements for hunter, uh, which is a kind of a sort of a side thing that you can do in an influential soul conviction, which is really cool. And um, if you guys wanted, I could do a dual commentary with someone else. I could do co-op. Um, I finished all the levels in hunter in realistic. Um, without getting detected because there's like an achievement for that but I did it several times because the achievements in this game are really screwed up uh, oh by the way the reason I'm just sitting here is I'm waiting for a guy to walk past and I'm gonna pull him off the uh, gonna pull him over here um, whenever he comes around he's here somewhere manga oh there he is okay just because I want the execution and stuff so I was gonna, there's a couple of guys down there, but the, by the way, if you pull him off here, he'll land on the jeep and the uh, the alarm will go off. Which, while that's pretty cool, we don't want that right now. So we're gonna shoot out this light over here. 
which doesn't freak out anyone too much, don't worry. And um, we're gonna run across here, watch out for the camera. Um, basically, the door you can see here, just take over behind this. The door there, I don't know if you can see it, hang on. Okay, there, there's a guy in front of that, and we need to go in that door. So, yeah, there's a couple of things you're gonna wanna do. First of all, watch out for the camera. Second of all, start the car alarm. Get into better cover. Car alarms don't matter because they're not going to uh, annoy the camera. Okay, that guy's coming over. And um, I'm going to see what I'm going to do here. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. Do, do, do. What's he doing? Okay, I might search this car alarm here. Boom. That's freaking him out already. Okay, and we're going to get back into cover here. And uh, we're going to take this guy out. One way or another, shooting him or otherwise. Yeah, I'm gonna grab him and pull him back into the dark. Because, by the way, I found this out the hard way. <laughs> if there's a body in front of where the camera is, the camera freaks out. So, oop, glitch. Uh, so just watch out for that. That's really annoying if you take a guy out and then the camera starts freaking out and your mission is over. So we're gonna head down here into the transformer room. Um, I remember we got the key card from that guy originally that we knocked uh, or that we pulled over the ledge so I'm gonna head down here and um, plant the C4 here all right guys and um, ah what am I doing get down and now I need to think, because, okay, yeah, I remember where I'm going now. For a second there, I kind of zoned out, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we're going to head... Okay, you're gonna head over down here to the uh, the elevator, and in we go. And this kind of a dramatic kind of cutscene deal here. For Sam, the one thing Third Echelon had always been about was the truth. Even after everything that happened, he'd held on to that. But now he was coming back as the hunter. As the enemy. As the one thing he'd never thought he'd be. And the truth... It was waiting for him. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this part, uh, we're going to pick this up in the next part, the next part is actually very cool and this is like a funny little cutscene before it, so um, thanks for watching, uh, make sure to subscribe so I can give you a shout out at the end of this uh, over the credits and uh, make sure to check out twitter.com slash cowbrowser and follow me there, uh, I'm really curious can we get to like a thousand followers on Twitter because I'm already nearly at 500 so it'd be really cool if we could, um, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next part.